We're particularly interested in the role that uh, religion has played in moral behavior. The idea that moral behavior served as one of the main functions of religion and why it plays such a large role in our lives. Uh, now, what psychology has consistently shown is that there tends not to be quite a relationship between religious belief and uh, uh, moral behavior. Religious believers and religious non-believers seem to act just as morally as each other. Our new research uh, shows that it's more of a nuanced relationship than just asking people uh, if or if they don't believe. That it actually depends on what they believe. Uh, now, in particular, what we wanted to see is what views of God are, rela are related to re uh, moral behavior. So if you see God as a loving, comforting agent, or you see God as a punitive, angry agent, does that have an effect? And what we found is that those people who see God as a more punitive, angry, vengeful God, they tend to, in a, in a laboratory-based cheating measure, they cheat a lot less. Whereas people who believe in God as a comforting, loving agent, forgiving agent, seem to cheat more. So this fits into the bigger cultural uh, issue about how religions initially developed and what purposes they served. The idea that uh, gods used to be more authoritarian, vengeful agents is consistent with the idea that the initial role of religions was to foster moral behavior, which made cohesive, cooperative societies in a time where there were no secular laws or police, policing systems. Um, and so the idea of having your moral systems or your moral regulation outsourced to a punitive agent was a very effective thing in early societies.